Thomas, back in probably March, we had already gone into you know COVID-19 shutdown essentially. And I was still talking to a lot of business leaders and I kept hearing many of them say, well, we're just gonna go and ride this out uh, you know, here for a month or so, and then you know, we'll get back into business soon. I just had a bad feeling about what was gonna happen in the future. And I started thinking maybe there was something better we could do. Were you getting those same kind of feelings? You know, I honestly, Stan, I, I wasn't because I thought, okay, maybe 30 days will go by, everything will be fine. But now, hindsight is 2020. You know, I, I think I should have had that gut feeling that what you had. Um, and now I can't believe what we're in six months into this thing and we still don't know what's going to happen and everybody is afraid. And, and I'm a guy that kind of like, I like to sit back and have tactical patience and not jump on the bandwagon and, and doing everybody, what everybody, everybody else is doing. So in essence, now I'm on the same boat as you. Uh, it is kind of, okay, what are we doing? Um, what we're seeing is, is a lot of businesses uh, have just basically shut doors and their doors and will never come back. And it's unfortunate. And, you know, you were telling me about the program and, you know, we were two different worlds, right? I, I had an incubator run and how do I bring my message to the students? While I was doing all this stuff, I'm going, wait a minute, Stan, this is what Stan is doing. Why don't we just start collaborating? So this is how you and I started. It was just like, okay, we started uh, brainstorming and we were like, all right, this is it. This is how we're going to do it. Let's just try it. And I part, partly is, is because you and I have basically the same mindset, right? We, we have, we're, we're subject matter experts. Um, quite frankly, I think we know what we're doing. <laughs> you know, we don't talk a lot about it. We, we're more action driven than theory or anything else. So yeah. So right now I'm kind of a little worried where this, this whole thing is going to uh, go because we're not just talking about the local economy, we're talking about, you know, the national economy. And we're talking about, especially in your field, the, the sports industry, you know, uh, it's just dried up and that's a lot of revenue. So, yeah. Yeah, and as I was listening to these business leaders and then you and I were passing each other occasionally, uh, I got to thinking, okay, here's what's happening right now is, is the students were telling me that, you know, their jobs, they were being laid off or furloughed. And that meant, also meant that the internships that they were ex hoping to have over the summer, they weren't going to happen. Right. And so I got to thinking, okay, so what really it is, is that these businesses need help now. They can't just go away. I'm good. There's an advisor on our uh, advisory board. His name's John Spelstra. He's a marketing genius and a former NBA executive. And uh, he says that, you know, uh, especially the sports entities just can't go away during this time. Instead, they've got to continue to reach out uh, to their customers. They got to reach out to their to people who come and sit in their seats and watch their games. Uh, and so I got to thinking, okay, we could do something about this. And I went to see the dean, all top merchant, and I, I said, you know, dean, is there any way we can help these students out? And he immediately jumped right on it. Uh, I was so impressed because what he did, he said, Stan, I can get you some money we have a lot of students who don't have, you know, their internships and they may not even be able not only not to pay their rent, but they not, may not even be able to, to eat. So we've got to help them. And he said, and by the way, Thomas is thinking exactly the same thing. And during these times, great things happen, right? Creativity, ingenuity, thinking outside the box. Uh, sometimes it's, um, a tragedy will bring out the best in all of us. And I think this is what's happening right now is that it's bringing out the best of us, especially in the gig economy. You know, a lot of people are leaning out while you and I and our students at University of Washington Tacoma is leaning in and say, hey, look, we're coming in. Um, but we're, very gonna be, we're gonna be very methodical and tactical about this. We're not gonna be a cavalier about this, but so we, we thought it all out. You know, I think you and I work well together just because, you know, we can, we can see immediately um, you know, talking to the students and say, hey, yeah, let's, this is it. This is the person. We don't need to interview anymore. So, uh, and especially a time like this, you can't, you can't, you can't waste any time on this thing because, it, I mean, hours go by, days go by, and it, it, it means that jobs are going to be eliminated or 
people's livelihood is going to be eliminated. Mm -hmm. So, so let's tell everybody what the program is. Basically, it's an internship program for students uh, in the Milgard School of Business, who are, um, and mostly this is geared towards uh, at least juniors and possibly seniors, uh, and even above, who uh, will go out and they will will help businesses most of the time online, but they will help businesses, uh, you know, comply with with COVID nineteen rules who will help them strategize, who will just basically help them do just about anything that they need to do uh, to help make it through uh, this process. And I don't know about you, Thomas, but uh, I have been so impressed with the quality of our students. Uh, you know, Stan, I 100% I agree with you. And, you know, if I was back in corporate America and back in management and a hiring process again, I mean, I would take every single one of these students because they are, so motivated and driven and uh, highly educated um, um, you know they communicate very well and i think they're just um, a lot of vigor in them they, they want to do something meaningful uh, for themselves and also for the community then uh, the program itself is geared to run uh, each internship is maybe eight weeks or so uh, some of them may last a little bit longer we've got some coming up that are going to last a little longer uh, the students get paid approximately $20 an hour, but it's not an hourly gig. It's a project basis. What's the difference in a project versus an hourly pay? But you better get it done because you're not going to get paid. If you if you are in the middle of a, if they do an evaluation on you uh, in the middle of this process and you're not doing your job, you will get released. So that's the difference between uh, typical student, uh, student interns. This is a real world application where um, you don't have time to goof around or experiment on this. This, this life, people's lives depend on this. So. Yeah, uh, they do. And one other thing I've been impressed with is the students have come back and said to to us that you know what they have learned in school they were able to apply. They just need to apply it faster. Yes, <laughs> I agree. Because the business world moves pretty fast. Very, very fast. They have to. They have. Well, you know what I like about this? They they are learning how to pivot and be agile and nimble with this whole thing. They just can't sit around. They gotta, they gotta make it happen. Basically, you lead, follow, or you get out of the way, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think our students are, are are leading this way, and some of them are followers, which is fine too, because there's there's always going to be leaders and followers. But uh, a lot of them, you know, they're just embracing this whole thing and they're just attacking this thing with um, with a lot of vigor. So, um, and the other part about it is that in addition to the students working with the companies, they're still uh, they're actually employees of the University of Washington, and then they are, uh, you and I both have a supervisory role just to, I don't know, make sure that they don't stumble. Yes, exactly. And, and that's the beauty of this whole thing, too. You know, we, we, we want them to, to succeed, and uh, we want them to come to us with, with questions, and it's okay to ask questions. Um, we don't want them to fail by no means at all, because nobody, everybody loses if they fail, so... Well, let's go ahead and uh, put up our email addresses up on the screen and we'll get that done because that's the way for you if you're watching this and you're a student and you want to participate in this program uh, where you believe that you might be able to help a business and then you're going to get paid for it and you're going to get paid a, a reasonably good wage but you're also going to have some responsibilities on you too yeah i agree sam <clears throat> you know if you want to you want to take charge of your uh career Apply for it and uh, get ready to work.